Now, we are going to solve some uh, fraction problems. First one is 7 by 12 and 9 by 12. See, I have told you already what are like fraction. If the denominators are same in all the fraction, it is a like fraction. So, look at the number is 7 by 12 and 9 by 12. So, find out which is a greater fraction. So, 7 by 12, what is the denominator? 12 is a denominator and 7 is a numerator. In this, 9 by 12 is a fraction, 12 is a denominator and 9 is a what? Is a numerator. So, in both fractions, what? 12 is a fraction, that is a, a fraction is similar. The denominator is similar. The denominator is similar in both the fractions. And, but look at the numerator. Numerator is different. So, which is a greater number, you have to find. So, the denominator are same. The fraction with the bigger numerator is a greater fraction. So, if the denominators are same, you have to look at only the numerator. Which is the num which number is greater than, which number is greater than both, you have to look at that number and what? Choose the particular number. That is what is given. The denominators are same. If the denominators are same, the fraction with the bigger numerator, the fraction with the bigger numerator, which is the bigger numerator in these two, with the 7 and 9, and with 7 and 9, which number is a greater number? Which number is a bigger number? 9 is a bigger number. 9 is a bigger number. So, 9 by 12 is a greater fraction. 9 by 12 is a greater fraction. I will repeat once again. See, 7 by 12 is one fraction and 9 by 12 is another fraction. You have to, uh, you have to find out which is a greater fraction. So, if you have the same denominator, you have to look at only the numerator which is greater than 2 greater than both. So, 7 and 9. So, both in both fraction the denominators are same. So, you have to uh, what? You have to verify only the numerator. Check the numerator 7 in the numerator first fra in first fraction numerator is 7. In the second fraction numerator is 9. So, in both the uh, both the numerator which number which is the greater number which is the greater number that is what they are saying the denominator are saying the fraction with the bigger numerator. The fraction with the bigger numerator is the greater number. So, the fraction with the bigger numerator is 9 is the bigger numerator. So, you have to select only 9 by 12 is the greater fraction. So, 7, 9 by 12, 7 by 12 and 9 by 12 which is the greater fraction. 9 by 12 is a greater fraction. So, you have to 7 by 12 is less than 9 by 12. Otherwise, if you write like this 9 by 12 or 7 by 12. See, look at the numbers. If the denominator, if in, in look at the uh, fractions first. First fraction is 9 by 12. Second fraction is 7 by 12. In both uh, fractions, denominators are same. If the denominators are same, you have to look at only the numerator with the bigger numerator. You have to see which uh, which numerator is bigger, which numerator is greater. So, 9 and 7, look at the numerator. So, fraction with a bigger numerator, fraction with a greater numerator. Fraction with a bigger numerator, 9 is the numerator and 7 is the numerator. So, fraction with a bigger numerator, that is 9 by 12 is a greater fraction. So, you have to put a sign like this, that is 9 by 12 is greater than 7 by 12. But in such case, 7 by 12 is given means you have to write 7 by 12 is less than what? 9 by 12, 7 by 2. 7 by 12 is less than 9 by 12. 7 by 12 is less than the 9 by 12. This is lesser sign. This is a greater sign. That's it. And 8 by 11 and 3 by 11. Look at the number. In both fractions, the denominator are same. So, if the denominators are same, if the denominators are the same, means it is a like fraction. So, you have to look at only the numerator, the fraction with a bigger numerator, which is a bigger numerator. 8 is a bigger numerator. So, the sign is like this. So, 8 by 11 is greater than 3 by 11. Next sum, 6 by 8 and 3 by 8. If the denominator is same, mean it is a like fraction. It is a what fraction? It is a like fraction. So, if the fraction is a like fraction, you have to look at only the numerator. So, what is the fraction with the bigger numerator? You have to select fraction with the bigger numerator. Which numerator is bigger? 6 is a bigger numerator. So, 6 and 3, which is a bigger numerator? 6 is a bigger numerator. So, you have to select only the 6 by 8. It is a greater fraction. 6 by 8 is a greater than 3 by 8. This is the 
exact answer for this question. Okay, now change into improper fraction. Change into improper fraction. So two, two is actually what fraction it is? It is a mixed fraction. Two, three by seven. So mixed fraction means I've told you very clearly. It is a mixed fraction means as a composed of or combined together. Whole number is combined with the proper fraction. So two is a whole number and three by seven is a proper fraction. So two into three by seven. So two into seven plus three. So you have to multiply two into seven plus three divided by seven. What is the answer you get? Two into seven means 14. 14 plus three, 17 by seven. So 17 by 7 is the right answer. So improper fraction means what you will get the numerator is greater than the denominator. So it is a numerator. 17 is a numerator and 7 is a denominator. So numerator is what? Greater than. Numerator is greater than the what? Denominator. So it is always what? Greater than 1. So next one is 5, 8 by 9. 5 is a whole number and 8 by 9 is a fraction. So it is a mixed fraction. The so mixed fraction means I have told you very clearly whole number combined with the proper fraction. So 8 by 9 is a proper fraction. First you have to multiply, cross multiply that is 5 into 9 plus 8 divided by 9. So what you will get actually 5 into 9 45, 45 plus 8 is equal to 53. So 53 divided by 9. So 5 into 9, 45, 45 plus 8, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 53 by 9. It's a what? Improper fraction. So 53 is greater than 9. 53 is what? Greater than 9. So it is a numerator, is greater than denominator. It is an improper fraction. So it is the value of what? It is a greater than 1. Always improper fraction is greater than 1. Now we are going to see change into what mixed fraction change into mixed fraction what is the thing change into mixed fraction the first question is 17 by 8 it is a what it is a improper fraction here also improper fraction here also improper fraction and here also what improper fraction how do you, how could you say it is an improper fraction because numerator is greater than the denominator numerator is greater than the denominator numerator is greater than the denominator so it is an improper fraction so we have to convert the improper fraction into mixed fraction so improper fraction first 17 by 8 you have to divide 17 17 is divided by 8 so 2 8s are 16 the remaining is 1 17 minus 6 7 minus 6 you can get 1 so 2 is a whole number this is the what i have told you very clearly it's a quotient and it is a what a reminder and this is a divisor divisor so while i taught you and division i taught i taught you the same step so 2 1 by what 8 so 2 into 8 16 16 plus 1 17 by 8 you can get the same answer so the uh, mixed fraction means 2 I told you is a whole number and 1 by 8 is a proper fraction. So this is what you have to convert improper fraction into mixed fraction. The answer is 2 1 by 8. I told you very clearly 2 is a quotient and 1 is a reminder and this is what? This is the divisor and this is what? Dividend. So I taught you everything in division. Just go through this uh, videos once or twice. And 36 divided by 5. So look at the number 36 divided by 5. So 7 5s are 35. The remaining is 1. So this is a quotient and this is a reminder and this is what a divisor. So what is the answer? 7 1 by 5. So again you have to multiply. Cross check means 7 into 5 plus 1. You can get 7 into 5 what? 35. 35 plus 1 what? 36. 36 divided by 5. The same question will come so this is the improper fraction this is the mixed fraction this is the right answer for the question the last one is 59 by 4 it's it is an improper fraction you have to convert into mixed fraction so again you have to do 59 divided by 4 so first what is this is a 4 so 1 4 take only 5 1 4 is a 4 5 minus 4 1 so bring down 9 here because 1 is lesser than Four, so you can't divide it, divide the number so bring down this number I taught you everything in the division section so four fours are 16 16 remaining is 3 what is the answer 3 so 14 is a quotient and 3 is a what reminder and 4 is a divisor so 14 
then 3 divided by 4. So 14 into 4, look at the number 14 into 4 plus 3 divided by 4, you will get the same question. 14 into 4 that is 56. 4 for the 16, carry 1. 1 for the 4, 4 plus 1, 5 that is 56 plus 3, you can get 59 by 4. So the same question will come. The answer is 14 by 3 by 4. 14, 3 by 4. 14, 3 by 4. This is the mixed fraction. 14 is a whole number and 3 by 4 is a what? Proper fraction. So whole number combined with the proper fraction, it is called as a mixed fraction. This is the method of converting or change into improper, change improper fraction into mixed fraction.